Hi guys, this is Joel with Guitars United here at the Summer NAMM 2014 at the beautiful Music City Center here. This is the second year they're doing it and it's really a successful year for a lot of people. And uh, right now I'm at the uh, Jamstick booth. They were voted one of the top products of the NAMM. Was it actually the top product or was it just one of them? There was six best in show. So. Six best in show probably in their category. And uh, anyways, I've got Chris here and he's going to give us a little rundown of uh, what, what, what actually makes the Jamstick and and its capability and, and uh, what you use it with to get it to get the sounds and and uh, gosh from what I'm seeing here just for the a quick two minute demo of what he's been telling me about this thing I want this thing right now <laughs> so uh, so so Chris what's yeah. going on with it buddy so the jam stick is what we like to refer to as the guitar designed for your iPad uh, it's you know basically just under 16 inches long and uh, you know it in its heart it's a MIDI controller you know what we do differently though for guitar MIDI is that instead of listening to the audio and like doing going through a frequency analysis and then dishing out MIDI. We're actually using infrared light from within the fretboard to see what your hands are doing in real time. Sick. Yeah, so um, a couple of advantages that that allows us to do. Number one, our MIDI translation is really fast, so our latency is very low. Um, number two, the instrument never needs to be tuned. Uh, so, especially as a learning instrument, you know, for someone who is what I refer to as guitar curious, Tuning is a huge barrier that you know a lot of pupils will stop, you know, just because like I can't keep the tuning thing in tune and the guitar goes away. You never have to tune this thing. Um, some of the other things that infrared allows us to do uh, are the fact that we can do things like string bend. Uh, here, if I can actually play right now. Uh, so we do string bend natively. We don't have any software that's like doing that proprietarily so if you're using the Jamstick to control an iPad or uh, you know a, a workstation someplace it will do you know you'll get the same performance everywhere so, and how are you hooked up via Bluetooth so actually right now I'm uh, going over Wi-Fi to this iPad each Jamstick uh, is its own ad hoc Wi-Fi network with, its, cool. with a unique MAC address. I think it's more stable than Bluetooth. Uh, well, Bluetooth is actually something that we're developing. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so that one's coming down the road, and hopefully we can make an announcement about it soon. But uh, yeah, so it, it's actually really cool. And because it's ad hoc, um, you could be in a car, in a plane, you'd be traveling, you'd be in the middle of the desert. You know, as long as you've got power on your devices, uh, you'll be able to use the Jamstick. So Very cool. uh, it's one of the things that makes it really convenient. And because of its form factor and its size, being mobile, it's it's super cool. Um, one of the kickers about uh, the Jamstick is our actual our, our teaching software. Is this an app of your own? This is our app called Jam Tutor, and Jam Tutor is really designed to get someone from that guitar curious stage to being guitar familiar. I like to say it's not going to turn you into Hendrix or Jack White overnight, but it is going to get you over the hump. So cowboy chords, bar chords, some scales, and the ability to read tab. Very cool. The killer thing is, is that because we're looking at these strings in real time, and you can actually see here on screen as I cross my fingers here, it's actually responding to what I'm playing. It's no latency. No latency. For us, that means that we could do things, and we don't teach chords this way, but this demonstrates the metric really well. Um, we can present a cue for a user, and the interface is intuitive. It's, it's like I, my fingers just follow into the spots, and then I can play. And so. Uh, Jam Tutor uses video early on. We actually have an arcade mode that looks a lot like a very familiar console game, except for now you're actually learning how to play guitar. And then we transition uh, the student to learning how to read tab. And so basically if we can accomplish those three things, we really think that we've gotten someone over all the points that they'd normally kind of stop playing guitar at, you know? And it, it, aside from all that, it's just a great MIDI controller, so it's not just the instrument that you learn on. It's the instrument that now you're going to be doing things like you get to kind of add value to your iPad by actually get performance out of things like GarageBand. You know, yeah. I'm, uh, it's it's nuts. I actually think that the, the tools that are being developed for iOS in terms of MIDI are in some ways faster and better than what's happening in development for workstation stuff. Um, even though I'm big. Logic Pro Audio guy, Me and, too. and I'm an Ableton you know, user as well. Um, the fact that I can take this iPad and I can do some stuff uh, anywhere is really important. I actually think it makes you uh, a better curator of your ideas, and it, you know, as things kind of go, you know, if you entertain your ideas and while they happen, they tend to come around more often. So, you know, even something simple like GarageBand, I'm just, you know, 
Right now, we're just playing, you know, just the acoustic guitar in GarageBand. And as you commented earlier, it was like, hey, that sounds fantastic. It does. GarageBand's here, and it's just working. When you actually can play it as an instrument and give it real control. I'm impressed, Chris. I'm playing sloppy, but yeah. But Chris. Show me some of the mechanics of the actual jam stick itself. How's, yeah. the, how's this thing work? What, what, what kind of batteries? I mean, what's, so, what's up with it? Let me show you here. So the jam stick is powered by a lithium ion rechargeable battery. You can pull the battery cover off. It, Very it's cool. right here. Um, if you need to change the strings, and, and I can tell you, we've got a lot of prototypes uh, for as long as 18 months. We've only had two string failures, but should the need arise, we've kind of thought of that up for you. An included Allen wrench. You just undo the te a tensioner here, loosen the string from, uh, you just pull it actually out of the piezo gripper, which that's how we do pick detection, and the string comes right out and you just replace it, you know, just like that. Strings are available via our website at jamstick.com. Is there probably a video for changing the strings on there yeah. as well? Yeah, there'll be a Figured uh, that. resource that. Uh, how long does soon. it take to charge the battery? You know, battery charge to go from like dead flat to, you know, is under like about three to four hours. We can get six to eight hours of continuous use, so literally playing all the time. Um, you That's could, awesome. You get that. Lithium ion. Lithium ion battery. What's um, the total length? You know, I, I, we targeted 15 inches and we ended up just a little bit over that. So we're, I think we're like at 15 and a half, 15 to three quarters. It's backpack friendly. That's what was really important for us is you know, get it in a backpack and you know then we're good. I mean, I'm such a big guy, I could probably stick it in my pocket. <laughs> Let me see this thing. So it's, uh, yeah. so it's like a, a ABS plastic? Yep. And That's then, a good weight, maybe what, a couple pounds or what? Yeah, you know, I think when we ship them in a box, it, it, the whole package, with packaging included, is under three pounds. It's beautiful. So, um, we've got a power on, up, down, left, right, probably some, some different parameters there. Is yeah, that is? actually, that's one of the things, you know, it, it does have five frets, and the common complaint is, well, what if I want to do more notes? Uh, our current version of firmware, it's a two-button press, and you can get up two octaves for standard. Uh, and underneath, uh, you know, standard by one octave. Cool. So we actually address the full bandwidth of MIDI. Future versions of that firmware will allow you to assign the D-pad uh, to basically become an active virtual capo. I saw. So, I see you do have a USB port here, so that's have, firmware updatable. Uh, yeah, actually, the firmware updates over the air. The USB port is for charging and for if you need to do wired MIDI for whatever reason, uh, you can do it there. That's tap. What are these mapping out at, buddy? Two ninety nine. It's awesome. Are they available now? They're available now at our website, jamstick.com, and then we'll be at retail channels uh, until I, until the press release comes out. I can't officially say who, but it'll be. It's it's very cool. Uh, not in MI channels yet, but that's coming later this year. What else is new for Jamstick? Anything else? Well, you know, we're we're working on uh, some Bluetooth uh, technology. We're also working on uh, changing our pick detection to uh, moving to a little more of a standard uh, traditional piezo saddle arrangement, although it won't be traditional, but it'll be somewhat like that. You think it'll be more stable or something? Uh, it, it does a couple things for us. Um, one of the things is that it allows us to do a more, uh, capture really the full breadth of, you know, of the right hand technique. I love piezos, so. yeah. I love so, them. That's my favorite type of acoustic system. Yeah, so. You know, what else? Anything else? You know, they're even though they're plastic, they're really durable. You know, um, we have all the challenges of guitar construction, except we're working 15 inches and it's synthetic material. So it does have uh, two steel ribs that work like a truss rod here right, in the neck. Yeah. Steel reinforced. Steel reinforced. Now, what about strings? Are they gonna be able to buy a pack of strings for these? Jam so strings. So you buy packs? strings from our website. Okay, you know, cool. Um, and they're we actually have strings that are made by uh, the guys at GSM on the East Coast. So, uh, and they're cranking out, and they're, they've been fantastic. We actually, you know, had a spec and said, hey, if you can nail this within X, and they, like, did it within, you know, 70% under X. So, wow. they're really, they're, it's a great, it, a great string company to work with, and um, they've been delivering really well for us. Awesome, awesome. So, Anything else, Chris? Hey, go get a jam stick and open your eyes to the world of MIDI. That's so cool. Is the app free? Our apps, uh, the three apps, Jamstick Connect, Jam Mix, and Jam Tutor are free. Very cool. Well, guys, thank you so much. And uh, check out their website, jamstick.com. Any other websites, any other kind of social media you want to lead people to? Uh, you know, we're on Facebook and we're on Twitter. Uh, just look up Jamstick, S-T-I-K. Um, you know, go follow us on the Instagram thing because we always put really cute, emotional things there. So. Cool. Awesome. Hey, Chris, thanks for your time, bro. Thank you. All right, sir. Take care.